welcome back to episode two of TEW. Uh, Jim Ross of Ross Wrestling, I think it was. Uh, I, all I did was skip forward a month. I made almost five grand in profit, which is kind of crazy. Um, I think it's because we only used four people, and we're going to do that again. Uh, it's all about bringing in money at the moment. Doesn't matter really what even happens because we're going to get momentum and popularity out anyway. Uh, there's a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, Travis Huckabee complained a couple of times because I forgot to auto push before simulating. Uh, Silver Hawk, same thing. Uh, no, look and see if. Uh, these are wrestlers, yeah. I'm not sure why they weren't allowed to wrestle last time. No, no. We'll go for. Uh, we'll put the show, sorry. Uh, make sure everyone's available. Mm. And then we'll go for tomorrow, Tuesday. Make it one hour, and the name will be. Fit, no. Uh, Epic, why not? We don't want any of this because it'll cost money. Um, Mid South is the location, and it was Tuesday. Uh, a couple of things I forgot to mention yesterday was this is a road to global. Um, I'm going to be going to the top, hopefully. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's it. Any feedback on the series, or if you think there's something I could be doing better, um, then just message me. I am com not completely new, but I've only played it for like 15, 20 hours. I was more into EWR because it was more basic, but I'm getting into this one. I'm really enjoying it. Johnny Galvano got the call up. We don't need any more members of the roster. I think everyone's happy. Yeah. We'll go into the show. There we go. I'm gonna just double check that arena. The top here. Um, ninety-two fans. So we. Don't need a big one. We'll go maximum capacity of 150. Uh, 100, 150, 100. So we go. Yeah, that one. The theatre. Uh, can't quite remember what happened last time. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look what I, what I did last time. Um, recap last show. Uh, yeah, it was gonna be Huckabee versus Boxdale for the uh, title. I remember they were the two best, and uh, makes sense really. Travis Huckabee versus Boxdale. I'm gonna get uh, Silverhawk was the one that I didn't use last week, so I'll put him in a match. And you get it 21 minutes because we're trying to just use up all the time, and then forgot which one was the. Heal, but we want a heal champion. Uh, so Warren Barksdale. Um, we'll put the match on storytelling. I forgot to do that the last uh, the last week, which was uh, it. It stopped us from getting an up in popularity, I believe. We got the Rocks World Championship. 
Jim Ross is the road agent. And then post match, we're gonna have. Uh, is there any way to look at them all? Filter. Uh, I'll make a freestyle angle actually. And it's Jim Ross and uh, Warren Boxdale. Uh, both will be scripted. Jim Ross on microphone, Warren on entertainment. Major success for both. It's just Jim Ross interviewing him after about being the new, um, the new champion of the company. In the other match, we're gonna have another one-on-one. -on -one. Which is, we'll exclude the box. Silverhawk, who's the face, and we'll go for Sonny Defarge. We have another 20 minutes. Um, Jim, uh, Jim Ross, and we'll have. Silverhawk win uh, just because we need to build him up again to go for the belt and we'll work the crowd uh, why not, we're going to see if they can handle work in the crowd um, they should be able to really because even though they're low uh, in quality of wrestlers they should still be good enough to do that uh, I remember Sonny Dufarge just got put on microphone, so I'm going to let him talk for two minutes. Uh, may as well just do the freestyle angles, it's a lot easier than finding one. Sonny Dufarge, rated on microphone, major success for two minutes, why not? And that's how the show's going to start. Uh, we'll run the show. In fact, I'll just do an, ana an analysis first. I'll run the show. 24E. Uh, just him hyping up the upcoming match. No work for improvements, but that is a a really good rating for this level. 22 E minus, Silverhawk beat Sunny Defarge. 28 and 25, that's again really, really good. Um, really looking for E's and E pluses, but definitely not this, an F. Um, decent reaction and terrible wrestling. So it's. Uh, could have been worse, the crowd could have not been into it, but... Uh, there's a lack of flow to the match, and I think that's down to Jim Ross being the road agent. Uh, but then, 48D+, plus, Jim Ross just interviewing him about it after. Uh, Jim Ross debuted his staff member gimmick, um, because uh, I received a comment yesterday, and they, they said, um, Jim Ross on commentary doesn't do anything at the moment because I'm not on TV. Uh, so it's, uh, I feel like he is doing quite a lot, but at the same time, it's not actually on commentary at the moment. So Warren Boxdale looked horrible in the segment, which isn't really what you want of a champion, but at least we've had him in at 48D plus now, so it should be all right. And we've got an E minus. Uh, used Sonny Defarge too much, used Warren Barksdale too much. It increased our popularity in one region. It's only going to do it in one region because we're not on TV, so only local uh, only local fans uh, like are going to tell the friends about it. We'll give Chris Sharps the ref. I'm not sure what he's doing. 
we have Warren some encouragement, uh, Chavez some encouragement, and Sonny Defarge is doing really good. Warren was pleased, Chavez was pleased, Sonny was pleased. Just going to the next day. See if there's anything. Uh, nothing popped up in messages. Um, I do keep trying for. I'm gonna keep trying for TV, uh, but I'm just trying to raise my profit at the moment so that it's uh, it's a bit easier to afford the new roster members when uh, when we go up in size. Because when we go to uh, small. Um, which we're probably going to do in a couple episodes with this now being at nine. You know, once we go to small. Um, oh wow, I've actually gone down actually. Oh, once we go to small rather than local, we're going to need to hire, I think it's six more roster members. Um, thank you for watching episode two. Uh, once these, uh, once I'm doing more than one show a month, the episodes are going to be a lot longer, because I will be doing a month at a time, no matter how many shows I do or anything like that. Um, and I've also thought about live streaming because I watch Tone Pepperone, and he seems to have the formula down. He live streams the uh, the making of the show and then uploads that to YouTube after. It's I'm not sure if my internet can handle it at the moment, but if it cut, if it could then I might do. So tell me what your comments, what your thoughts are on that in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you next episode.